Hi friends, welcome to my culinary expressions. Today's expression is a popular Andhra snack. It is the Gunta Ponganalu. It is known by different names such as Panyaram, Kui Panyaram, Paddu, Appe in the different states of Deccan region and south of India. This can be even made from leftover idli dosa batter. Very less oil is needed to make these Ponganalu and it is also easy to make and can make very impressive treats in no time. These dumplings are prepared in a special Ponganalu pan also called an Appe pan or a Panyaram pan. Friends, can you believe it that until a few years back I had no idea about Ponganalu. But after a memorable visit to my maternal grandparents house in Andhra, this has been one of our favorite snacks. Before we proceed to make Gunta Ponganalu, let me remind my dear friends who are visiting this channel for the first time, if you would like to receive these expressions with tips and options, then hit the subscription button right away and press the bell icon to receive notifications. All my other dear friends, do continue to show your support and zeal by your likes, shares and comments. And now, let's get started. Let's have a look at the ingredients to make Gunta Ponganalu. We need 2 cups of idli dosa batter. You could make the batter at home and ferment it or you could buy from the market. Then we need 1 teaspoon of chopped ginger garlic. This is entirely optional. Half cup of chopped onions. A few curry leaves that are chopped. 1 teaspoon each of chana dal and urad dal soaked. Or you could even saute it directly into the oil. Then the vegetables that we need are 1 4th cup of chopped French beans, 1 4th cup chopped carrots and 1 4th cup chopped capsicum. 1 or 2 green chilies chopped, 1 stalk of spring onions chopped, it's entirely optional, a few coriander leaves chopped. Then we need 1 4th teaspoon baking soda, salt to taste, 1 4th teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 4th teaspoon red chilli powder, half teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 4 teaspoon coriander powder, a pinch of asafoetida, some cooking oil, some coconut oil, coconut oil is optional and some water. I would recommend you to mix a little bit of coconut oil into the regular cooking oil while sorting the vegetables or making the ponganalu. Feel free to adjust the amount of spices and ingredients according to your preference. To start with, first we will saute the vegetables. We will heat 2 to 3 tablespoons of cooking oil and then add the cumin seeds and saute them. Thereafter add the chopped curry leaves and green chilies and saute them well. Add the chopped ginger garlic. This is entirely optional. You could omit ginger garlic. Saute very well. And thereafter, add the soaked lentils, that is the chana dal and urad dal. You could also add the chana dal and urad dal without soaking. But I prefer to soak it and then add. Once the water dries, add the chopped onions. Saute very well. Then add the chopped French beans, carrots, and capsicum. You could use vegetables of your choice. Mix and saute the vegetables very well till they are somewhat cooked. Friends, in the i bar above, you can check video links of some snacks on my culinary expressions channel. Some more links are updated in the description box too. Now let's add the uh, spices that is turmeric powder, coriander powder, red chilli powder, some asafoetida, salt, mix them well. And lastly, add the chopped spring onions and uh, chopped coriander leaves. Give a final mix and your vegetables are ready. You can put off the flame. 
keep aside the vegetables to cool have a look at the vibrant colored vegetables you can very well imagine how nutritive these ponganalus would be a tip here is that in case if you don't have all these vegetables you can add only onions you could also add the vegetables directly into the batter without sauteing but i prefer to saute the vegetables this enhances the taste now take the idli dosa batter in a wide bowl and add the cooled vegetable mixture to it add the baking soda and then mix everything very well keep it for a few minutes before you use the batter for making the ponga nalu use water for adjusting the consistency if need be and check for the seasoning let the batter rest for some time around 5 to 10 minutes thereafter add a drop of oil in each cavity of the ponganalu pan drop a spoonful of the vegetable and dosa batter mix in each cavity fill the cavities with the batter mixture till 3/4 level and then cover and cook on low to medium flame for around 5 minutes to check the doneness on the bottom side if the ponganalu leaves the side of each cavity we can say that it is time to flip but before flipping quickly put a drop of oil along the sides of each cavity and then flip quickly the ponganalu cooks on the other side however some may add the oil only after flipping as always the choice is yours cover the pan and let the ponganalu cook on the other side this may take between 3 to 5 minutes again and once they are done just flip them again to check and there you are your ponganalu is ready switch off the flame now transfer all the ponganalu into a bowl and have them hot with chutney such as the coconut chutney or the tomato onion chutney gunta ponganalu are somewhat crisp from outside and soft and spongy from inside and they are full of nutrients friends make these ponganalu and enjoy with your friends and family and now my dear friends i hope you enjoyed this expression thanks for watching do not forget to like share subscribe and comment very soon i'll be back with another interesting video till then goodbye